Um, I'm activating now the ability here. I'm also starting to already send the rockets around and get him locked down right there. Nice. So I have an all-time um, a shield that blocks every type of damage currently active. And then now I'm locked down. Oh, he's want he wants to get inside my beacon, I think. Right? And he would get in there. I got him locked down right there. That's a pursuer getting completely snacked for a few seconds there. Nice. Okay. So, the Scourge is reloading, we kept the center beacon so far, we're not doing so bad. What's up friends of the good mood, this is Money, and welcome to the test server here of War Robots with a third and last Greek Pantheon pack robot called Nemesis, as you can see right here. I've already made a full hangar with this thing, and right now in the middle of the week we're actually able to play on the test server to record the footage. However, I think the design is not fully finished on that robot yet, and I also, we don't have that many players online to play against. But we're gonna get some footage, so let's... Have a look at the ability and the robot itself. We have uh, 140,000 health, 44 kph. All right, it's relatively fast, relatively fast. It does a really good amount of HP, but it only has two medium weapons. And uh, I already figured out that the Orcans somehow they stick here, but when the Tarans uh, sit, they will sit here. So, like I said, that indicates the design isn't yet fully finished on this robot. But we're gonna get some gameplay footage anyways and test this thing, okay? And um, yeah, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, then please consider doing this right now, guys. And I guess on the weekend we're gonna get the next footage and see how it uh, fur uh, runs further. Let's start off with the Punisher version first. You see here these Punishers are actually mounted to the outer sides like a Lancelot would have its medium weapons. However, the Orcans, they would sit here. Right? It's crazy. It depends on whatever, what weapon you use, they, they are either in the middle or on the outer sides of it. Alright guys, because it took me a while to figure this out myself, let me properly explain to you guys the new ability of the new Nemesis robot in detail, okay? You have three phases. Phase number one activates your weapon to come out, but you have no shield and your weapon will not yet fire. It's just looking dangerous, okay? That phase goes for around, around five seconds and you can skip to phase two immediately by pressing the button again if you want to. Phase two, two will then start. It will bring up the shield for five seconds that will block all types of damage, unlimited amounts of damage, and it will also in phase two activate your rocket launcher that is built into the robot and deal some damage. Currently on this version it's not really any damage but it will be much damage in the future I would assume and the more damage you block with your shield the more damage the rocket launcher probably does. Okay, so that's phase two. After five seconds, you will then enter phase three, which will activate a 12 seconds damage resistance similar to the one that the Falcon has when he doesn't use the weapons mode. So basically you have around 50 to 66% damage resistance after your shield and after firing your rocket launcher in phase three for around 12 seconds. And only after these 12 seconds then, you will start regenerating your countdown for to use the ability again. All right, in the beginning, of this video I didn't understand how this works and as long as further as we go further to the end of the video the more I understood the ability all right but I'm recording this right now after everything when I really fully understand the ability to let you know after the weapons were active it seems like we did um, trigger an additional resistance or something I think we we, we may have a damage resistance active when he's shooting at us. Okay. And now, see, the weapons are now mounted to the outer sides, which is really funny. Hmm. Did some good damage to him right there. And there goes my weapon systems, completely worthless. Boom, got him, nice. All right, so three versus three so far. Wow, that was a good hit right there, nice. And now he's jumping over it. So here comes the additional rockets. Did they already shoot him? think so. Boom, boom. Oh no, what? He survived that. Alright, cool. <clears throat> so 
So I'm gonna sit on this thing here now. I'm gonna try to take this away from him. And my beacon. Alright, since I waited till the last possible second, he was unable to spawn here again. Alright, so he lost four robots and I've got still my third one here. Okay, I see what's going on. Alright, so we have a Bulgazari with Orkin rockets against us at this moment. And uh, I'm bringing up the shield now to block the damage that he's doing. Also firing with the additional rockets and then we see exactly how long the shield blocks. The shield doesn't block damage for a very long time. Um, but it does block damage nonetheless. And now we're taking the full damage that he's doing. I need to reload my Punisher, so I'm walking in here. He also has to reload his Orkin rockets now. And in a few seconds, I've got another shield ready, right? And that's gonna help me again, uh, fighting this Bulgazari with Orkins. But I need him to wanna fight me, like this, okay? Now I'm bringing up the shield. I need him to wanna fight me by himself. And that's what we're doing right now. Trying to fight, make him fight me. And in the end, being the one to succeed. Reloading the, uh, the Punishers again. We have suffered some damage. You saw we had a shield that protected us for a while. Um, but like I also said, I think the uh, the weapon or the bot isn't yet fully finished. And... Um, okay, he activated his things. So he's going to do his, his super powerful sh um, shot now in a few seconds there. Right now he's doing it. Right there. And now he has the speed bonus active. So I'm using my Avengers here, my Punishers, to bring him down super quick. Firing as best and strong as I can. Now my shoot drops. And the Ares is going down. Nice. <clears throat> if you use the abilities at the right time, you do have a chance to win. Uh, but you gotta really... Uh, know exactly when your shield pops up, when the additional weapon comes up, and currently the additional weapon on the Nemesis is worthless. It deals no damage whatsoever. And that is just one of these things that is because of the fact that the robot isn't yet fully finished designed. I still wanted to give you the early info when, as early as I saw it or noticed uh, that there was the test server up, um, I saw actually saw somebody else bringing up a test server video and I was like, huh, how did they do that? And I checked and oh, it's online, nice. So that's what we do this year, but uh, I guess at the weekend you see a more updated version with even better, you know, visuals and sound effects, and it's more clear how the ability wants to use. Uh-oh, and we're locked down already. I'm bringing up my shield here to block the damage that he's sending in. Uh, but we haven't really blocked that much. Do you notice that the Scourge depletes much faster now? The Scourge used to fire forever, and now it only fires for a few seconds there, before it reloads. Oh yeah, no re no lockdown for you, of course. So, blocking the damage with the shield here. Getting him a little bit there. Oh no, please don't get a lockdown. Now he is, okay. Now we have him locked down. And we can scourge him. Interestingly enough, though, he does not really take a lot of damage from it. Okay, here's lockdown, and my own shield is active. And I can kill him. Alright. Let's see if he can spawn here, if that was Beacon Rush. No, he can't. Okay, it's apparently it's not Beacon Rush. Okay, we got him a little bit there. A lockdown would be awesome. Nice. We have him locked down, but doesn't really work too well. When we're not close enough to really make use of the additional thing. Takes a long time to repair. Uh, to reload this. And both weapons gone. LOL. Both weapon systems are destroyed. So this robot... Loses its weapon literally all the time. I got him twice. All 
All right, I got him again. And I got him there. <laughs> okay. Let's see what he brings next. <clears throat> Am I not getting this beacon finally? Jesus. I'm trying to make him dodge and uh, lose some of his sh shooting here. Some of his firepower. Yeah, that's probably the smartest thing I can do. Let's try to make give him a nice uppercut. Boom. Alright, that wasn't too bad. And he keeps missing everything he fires. That's insane. He keeps missing so many shots right there. Alright, shield is up. Weapon is firing and dealing absolutely no damage. The shield is not working though because we're inside of his, his thing. When I'm underneath him, he can't lock on to me. And that's it. Boom. Alright, I'm blocking the damage now. And he sees it. He didn't do any damage right there. <clears throat> Alright, that was a good hit. And I think he also lost his lock on at this point. I'm hoping he did. Boom. He wants his base beacon. I'm not interested in the base beacon. I want to get the beacon that's as close as it gets to me. So, here we have something of his. Alright, I can already deal damage to him. What? It said I didn't do damage. Okay, he's super fast right now. That's why I didn't do damage, I guess. So, firing with the additional weapon here. But you saw the damage is so little. The damage is so incredibly low on this. Did a little bit of damage to him right there. He's gonna be able to activate his rush ability again and run towards me. Boom. Okay, I got him here. Nice. So let's see where he spawns. Ah, okay. He chose to spawn there. Interesting. Okay, that was a really good hit. I don't know what it is that he has right there. It could be a specter. Oh no, I think it's the same robot that we have, right? And uh, he currently has his weapon mode on. So I won't be able to deal any damage to him there. But now I'm bringing my weapon mode on. And right now I'm not blocking the damage. Now I am. Okay, now I'm starting, apparently I'm starting to block the damage. But he also seems to be blocking the damage, right? So... And I got him pretty good there. I'm making him lose his lock on by running through him, right? If I just walk right through him there, then I can make him lose his lock on a little bit. And I got him, nice. He just activated the ability, you saw the turret coming out of it. Um, the vortex is dealing quite decent damage right here. So let's see what he has right there. So that I cannot really get him very well with my, my rockets, but I get him a little bit anyways. And now he's coming in for the attack run, I guess. So I'm bringing up my additional weapon to block the damage that he's doing right there. And he's right now firing into me like crazy. And uh, when his shield drops, eventually I'll be able to deal some damage to him right there. Yep, that wasn't a lot, but it was at least some damage. And he's reloading. Uh, he's repairing. Oh, I lost all my weapons. Wait a minute, I can't spawn there? Why did I defend it? Why did I hold the beacon by fa by fa face brawling against rush weapons? I face I face brawled rush weapons because I thought I was going to be able to respawn in return. And now I have to realize that I did that for absolutely no reason. I face brawled him for absolutely no reason right there. Okay, here we go. Punishers are dealing damage now. I'm at activating the shield here and dealing some additional damage with these punishers. That should be 
that should be okay, but he is reload, he's repairing his, his HP there. So that's a bit of a problem. And I'm locked down too. But he doesn't know I'm locked down, uh, I'm reloading. And already losing the next weapon. Ha he has never lost a single weapon. I keep losing weapons the whole time. Wow, dude. Waiting on. Alright. And uh, yeah, so that did not work. Here, look at the damage that we have just done with uh, with the ability. But yeah, for now, let's leave it like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man could it for more. Thanks for bearing with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.